friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living, and it's 5.30 in the morning. We just got back from a walk. I'm about to uh, make a coffee, and we got, <clears throat> we got a busy day today. Well, let me get a coffee going, then I'll sit down. Oh, I'm just brewing my coffee. I feel a sneeze coming on, but under this, I was like, what is under here? <sighs> Some rocks. <laughs> These rocks my brother brought back for Misha. Like he went for a drive up over the shore yesterday with dad. And there's a whole beach of rocks like this. I'll have to get dad to tell me how to get there because he's, uh, Josh was like, it's the whole beach. There's no sand. It's all rocks, smooth rocks like this. Anyways, he brought some back for Misha. This is one she had here painted like an egg, but she washed them last night. <laughs> Aren't they cute? <laughs> So I'm just making my coffee right now. All right, friends, it's 6.46. I'm tired again. I had my coffee, but I haven't done anything. I had a coffee and I had some water. Um, some mornings I can be really productive. Other mornings I could crawl right back in bed. And today's one of those mornings. But I didn't crawl back in bed, but I could have. Or I felt like it. But yeah, today's going to be a busy day. It's 6.46. I'm going to go wake the kids up. But... Um, I have a nurse practitioner appointment today at 10.30, so I have to drive Marquise to work because I still don't have my van back. So after I send the kids off to school on the bus, I'll drive Marquise to work. It's not very far away. I'll come back, and I'll see if Mally wants a ride into town so I can go in and do a little bit of, a little bit of shopping. And... Violet will come. We'll all be snug as a bug in a rug in the truck. And then when I go to my appointment, I'll go to Dad's after I'm done shopping. Go to Dad's, have a visit. See if he can babysit Violet for just while I'm over there. It's just a checkup. I think it probably has to do with that appointment I had when I went to get my nerves or, you know, like the... I forget what it was called. They put sticker things all over you to check your nerves. Um, and reflexes or nerves. I don't know. Anyways, I'm assuming that's what it's about. So I don't think it'll take too long. And then I'll go back to Dad's and pick up Violet and then come home and wait to hear from my brother and sister-in-law to see if we're going to do that dump run. So yeah. Yeah. But right now, once I start moving, I'll be okay. But just sitting here on the couch, I felt like, oh my God, why did I get up so early? I could have slept until like quarter after six. Slept a whole hour and some more. But anyways, let's go get the kids up for school. The beautiful pumpkins. Violet, come here. Come here. You lost a glove. Is, is it in your pocket? Oh, no. Violet. Do, like I'll find another one for you there, bub. Do you see the leash? Yeah. Violet! Stay here. And she thought she could Can you buckle it or do you want me to do it? You can do it, okay. <sighs> it's supposed to be rainy today. There's Randall, way up there. Does that does that bird always cover Yeah, he likes you guys. Oh, have a good day at school, you guys. Love ya. Stop it. Oh, goodness sakes. Like Devin's some kind of threat, you think. He's just walking across the road, for goodness sakes. All right, I'll go see if Marquise is ready because I need to drive him. And then that's only about 10 minutes away. I'd come back and get Mally because she's not ready yet. Don't even think about it. And we'll go to town. All right, guys, I'm in the truck with Violet. We just stopped down the hill to the store. There's a bunch of fellas outside there but Marquise just went in to get a monster drink 
never had one. Never had any of those energy drinks before. Not interested, but anyways, we're going to drop um, our keys off. We'll spin back to get Mally, then we'll go to town. Oh, I should bring Evie's jet. Not Evie's. God. Maze's winter jacket and stop to uh, Walmart if I have time. And I would like to stop to Home Hardware to see if I can get some speckle or whatever that stuff is to fill in holes. We'll see. And Superstore, of course. And yeah, I don't know. We'll just, we'll get some stuff done. But Violet, of course, has to accompany me. Last night when we were playing cards, I said, oh, I have to call dad to see if he'll babysit Violet. And my brother Josh is like, what? I'm like, yeah, she goes everywhere with me. <laughs> he was, he just, they couldn't wrap, he couldn't wrap around his mind. But I, no one can help deny. We're listening to Blind Melon. I love Blind Melon so much. The songs that they were popular for, I swear to God, was not even their best songs. Like, those are good songs, but it's all the other songs that were not made popular, which are friggin' fantastic, really. Right up there for me, right up there for me. Anyways, we're just at Kyle, waiting for our turn to go. You know Kyle, the street light. I got Mally with me now. We're going into town. And it's 8.22, so we'll see what we can get done before she has to go to school. Alright, I'm in town at the Superstore. Look, they replaced some pumpkins with these little Christmas bushes. Oh, just fixing my mask. Violet and Mally are in the truck having their cappuccinos. No, they're not having that, but... Remember, this was all full of pumpkins? Buy groups of two for $30 each. Or $35 each. No, thank you. We'll just go in and see what we can find. I don't know what I'm doing for supper yet, so I might find something here. Nineteen thirty-one sliced chicken, regular price. That is baloney. Oh, those are OMG dolls. Is that a sale price? I don't know. Guess who? Alright, there's some salads back there. There's people around them though. And I don't really need a salad. Some more sugar snap peas, but they've been eating those a lot lately, so I'll just hold back. I don't want them to get sick of them. Look at all this stuff. Ooh, I am going to get some broccoli. Yes, I am. Oh, there's some triangle rosemary bun things. Check this. Oh, a lemon meringue pie. That might be good. All oh, those blueberry muffins. The kids love those for breakfast. Seriously. Might get that pie, though. All right. I'm hoping that they have the hodgepodge over there restocked, but I say that every time I come. I wonder if Albert's here. I'll have to see. Okay, I'm just messaging with my brother, so I keep shutting you off, but there's some steak over there. Sausages. These turned out really good last time. Maybe I'll get some of those these little barbecue things like $30 and 29 cents even 50% off like oh my god there's chicken on sale but it's still too pricey for my blood I'll show you the steak here the guy's gone some liver 
forty dollars. Oh, it's eighteen, nineteen. Fifty dollar prime rib roast. What? No friggin' way. All right. I gotta move fast. I was talking to my brother, like messenger. Yeah, this doesn't look restocked, really. Well, there's some balsamic vinegar. I would get that. Um, we want to do that dump on, like, ASAP because it's supposed to start raining. So I need to move my arse and get out the house or out of the store. All right, guys. Well, we just left the house, like the other house. Um, Adea's old house, our old house, and that's my brother-in-law and sister-in-law up ahead. And they took down a big, like, double mattress from upstairs and two love seats. And uh, we called the dump, and the dump's open, but they don't take stuff like that today. They only do that stuff on Fridays and Saturdays. So we just set it outside by the shop. I said, I don't care if it gets rained on. They're all scratched up and old, like they weren't salvageable. But I have some, like, an old TV and an old printer on back of the truck I'm gonna drop to off to the recycling place in town before my appointment and I called dad and he's gonna watch Violet for me while I run over to my appointment and yeah the house is just about empty there's two flat screen TVs mounted to the walls and Josh and Marquise will come over tomorrow to do that and the house will be completely bare, which will be friggin' amazing. And then the lady can come on the 15th, or I don't know if she works herself or not, but she's like an actual cleaner, and clean the house, which is wonderful. And then, yeah, I feel amazing. Like, this stuff has been weighing on my mind. Oh, for months, you guys, seriously. A stress, a headache. Oh, and while they were doing that, I was peeling off stickers that were in the upstairs bedroom, Evie's old bedroom. But they were the peel-away stickers, but you still had to kind of pick them off. Thank goodness I have a little bit of a fingernail. We got all those off. Natasha is, like, tall, so she could get the really tall, like, high ones. And, yeah. Oh, just wonderful. I feel so accomplished. So accomplished. So, anyways, I'm just heading to town now. I'll show you what I got in town after when I get back home. But, yeah, I'm going to stop to, it's called Conway Workshop. I used to work there, actually, like in group homes and stuff like that. And um, it's like a recycling electronic place and they like a lumber yard and, you know, things like that. So I'm going to drop this stuff off, hopefully, before my appointment if I can. It's like 10 to 10. My appointment's for 1030. So we'll see. As long as somebody can come and unload it for me, which I think they can, hopefully. And, um, yeah, great, <laughs> great. Like I'm such a, you know, on top of the, on top of everything kind of person. I feel like it today though, but you know, wonderful. Oh, we made it to Papa's. We dropped that TV off and an old printer, satellite boxes that I don't know where the heck they came from. Oh God, Violet, you jumped right over my shoulder. Come here kicked me right in the head jeez woman all right we'll go see papa i'll sit down for i don't know five minutes just so she can get comfortable oh, we're at papa's house yay papa he might be down in the basement you down the basement? Yeah, I hear him down there. He's down there. Oh boy. Yeah, Papa's down there. He's coming. He's coming, Violet. Here comes Papa. She'll get right excited. Who's coming? There's Papa. Where is he? Is he coming? There's Papa. Yay, Papa! <laughs> Papa's here! Yay, Papa! <laughs> Go 
Don't give him a hug, not me. <laughs> All right, guys, I made it to my appointment. So um, at least it's not raining hard now, it's just spitting. But I'll check in after. I had to slip out the door real quick. <laughs> but Violet will be fine. I'll probably only be about a half hour or so because, I mean, I can't imagine having to wait now that how strict they are with appointments to be here at a certain time and all that sort of thing. So anyways, I'll be back. All right, I'm out. That took a little longer than I thought. It's quarter after 11, but I'm done. I'll go over and get my little puff ball and see how she made out with Papa, and we'll be good. I'm gonna go get into my limousine, and yeah, no, actually, I love my truck. I know it looks all rough and stuff, but I love it. Oh, we'll see how she made out. with Papa? <laughs> Did you have fun with Papa? I wasn't gone that long. <laughs> All right, friends, it's 11.52. I just put some wood in the fire. I'll show you what I got at Superstore. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff, but I got some stuff. I ended up getting these kebabs. I'll make them for supper tonight because I have some white rice still in the fridge and we'll have rice and kebabs and I don't know, something else. I'm not sure. Um, I got some broccoli slaw. That's going to go with the ribs tomorrow. Uh, I just saw some sort of the coleslaw. Broccoli slaw is good. I'm going to have some broccoli and cheese for tomorrow too to go along with the ribs because it's always a big hit. I got this for dessert tonight if they want any. Uh, three of those blueberry mini muffins. Those are delicious. The kids love them. Uh, three things of chicken and rib sauce coleslaw sauce just makes it easy I'll just throw it on here and that's it and 50% off balsamic vinegar which isn't expensive anyways $3.79 but you know I got some so oh and I got I was looking for rib rub I don't think we've ever tried this kind Montana's rib rub I don't know I'll do this with that sauce for the ribs I'm going to take out of the freezer today and those were kind of pricey those are $6.99 but I need them and it's going to be a nice big rib fest and we'll try it on for size. So I'm going to put this stuff away. I got some mail so I'm going to brew a cup of tea and we'll open some mail. Oh that fire's going now. Um, I just dug these out of the freezer here in the porch so these are back ribs. I got three of these, 50% off, and these two back ribs that were 50% off. So, and I still have some ribs in the fr in the freezer. I'll have to pick up a few more for this December when Medea and Evie and Cody are here. But I'm going to defrost these all day today and start fresh either late tonight or early, early tomorrow morning because this will take a couple rounds in the oven. But that way, everybody can have a good feed of ribs. But this was regular $9.83, 9 dollars 32 So still kind of pricey, but it's worth it. We don't have ribs very often because... It's a lot of work and it's a lot of money, but I paid half the price, so not too shabby. All right, friends, it's 12, 13. Um, got a couple of Amazon packages. One of the presents was missed, but the packaging was all janked up and I'm gonna plug it in. It's, uh, it's like a spherical ball that levitates and things but it's doesn't seem like very good quality so I might end up sending that back I have it charging now to see if it even works and if it's worth it I forget what I paid for it but that's frustrating because I thought oh that's so neat that's nothing she asked for but it's nice to get 
something like as a surprise like what the heck is this and then it turns out to be the coolest thing ever but anyways I'll have to try that after but I just brewed a pot of tea I'm using mom's teapot and this is the cup I'm using I know she's been out before I have a light on where you guys are but it's like a Canadian um is it supposed to be the tartan or something I don't know maple leaf tartan Ridgeway Potteries Limited, Royal Elderly, Fine Bone China, RD 1964, Rotex Limited. All right, well, and I'm having, well, I'll show you the tea in a second. Isn't that pretty? She has gold up at the top, gold down here at the bottom, and she has gold on all sides, backs back here and on her elbow so that's awesome but i'm having some twinnings orange and cinnamon spice herbal tea uh, there gotta come up closer it gets flushed out but anyways i got a parcel from my friend valerie from halifax that's not too far away oh yeah this is gonna be good didn't even have to boil a kettle because that kettle on the stove was still hot from the fire but it's been a busy morning. We just getting that stuff done at the house is a big thing. Um, my doctor's appointment or nurse practitioner appointment went well. I have to go for blood work just because I haven't gone in a couple of years just to get things checked out, but that's fine. But here we have to call to make an appointment. Like she sends the referral, but I have to personally call to make the appointment. So I'll do that, but I just need to go into town to get it done. So that's good. This is just what I needed. Just what I needed. I'm going to drink that whole pot. I can guarantee it. But Violet's just right here on the floor. And I thought, well, I'll well, just open this up and see. Oh, well, there's a sticker on the back. It's Valerie R. So maybe that R stands for your last name. I don't like to say people's last name when I open their mail, mail so they, you know, privacy and all that stuff. All right, so here's a card. Open the card up and see. Another year more wonderful. Oh gosh. One of the good things about getting older is that we eventually learn what is important and brightens our lives and what is of little concern. But no matter the wishes and dreams in our heart, no matter the past that we take, the dear ones we cherish add joy to our days with wonderful difference they make. The wonderful difference they make. As time goes by, some people get dearer and better and even more special. And one of those wonderful people is you. Happy birthday. Oh, Valerie. And then she has a little personal note here thinking about you on your birthday and every day. You and your family in Violet bring joy to my life. Perhaps there can be, they can be your birthday cup. Oh, there must be a cup in here. Look at this card. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at the butterflies. Oh, butterfly. And there's one in, there's two in here. I love it. I'm going to hang this up over top of my couch. That's beautiful, Valerie. That's so nice of you to think of me. My birthday was October 30th. And yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys, you're just too much. You really are. You really, really are. Let me just pop this open. Here's a note. Ah, oh, Tracy, a thrift purchase. Uh, you will uh, determine that although they seem to be matched, they are not. Uh, I thought that you had to have the cup. To me, being brought together. To me, being brought together. Okay, I'm just reading the writing, that's all. Makes these forever friends even more special with a little heart. Val. Oh, Val. I can't wait to see. 
can't wait to see. I love thrift purchases. I really do. Thrift books, thrift furniture, thrift clothes, whatever. And my girls will be so excited. I hear you in there chattering. I hear you. Oh, I hear you. They're in there giggling and laughing like, ooh, who is this one? Oh my god. Got some fire starter right there too. This will go right up in my cabinet. Oh, oh my goodness. They look like they go together, don't they? Oh my goodness, you wait, you just wait. I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but this is like green, greenish color. And, oh, there. Around the outside of the cent, like the center is white, around the outside is green. If I point it this way, it's, you can't really tell. Oh, there, go right up close, you can see. Beautiful. She has gold all around the edge and then the circles on the, uh, in the inside. But you can see she's not perfectly round, which none of us are. And she has like those little rivulets. That's beautiful. Now, she came from Paragon, HM the Queen and HM Queen Mary, Fine Bone China, England registered a six seven seven slash eight so this is where her skirt or pedestal came from now look at her she is quite glamorous look at her shoe down there she's solid gold so is her arm like she makes a statement when she walks into her room and then she hits you with one of these pow look at that oh do i have it upside down i suppose it doesn't really matter that is fantastic, fantastic. I will absolutely bring her out the next time I have a cup of tea. Love her. Now, where did she come from? Estate 1775, Ainsley, made in England, fine bone china. Oh, Val, thank you so much. I love it. Love it so much. Very exciting. What do you think? Oh, yes. Mm, mm. Just what I needed today. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for thinking of me in the beautiful card, in the beautiful teacup. She's going to be a lovely addition. Lovely addition. Yeah. Oh, I just noticed here, too. You can see she's not perfectly smooth. She has those little rivulets down. love that so oh boy yeah it's 12 22 let me fill this up i didn't even fill my cup up it's 12 22 i'm gonna do those kebabs they don't take very long in the oven and now that i know how to open those stinking packages Um, I'll just put them on a baking sheet, stick them in the oven. I think they go in at like 400 or something for 20 minutes, something like that. Probably a half hour because I'll have two packages. I'm going to squish them all on the same cookie sheet. I did a meal like this not too long ago, but, and they're not expensive really. Like a whole package is regular, like $14.99, but I paid 15, 50% off. So I got two for the price of one and that's enough for everybody to have like two kebabs. And, yeah, and Misha's not here for supper, so they'll probably be even a little extra. But I know Josh and Natasha are coming out, my brother and sister-in-law are coming out after supper tonight. They, they said they might come out beforehand. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then go to her mom's for supper and then come back. But I don't know. Either way, they'll be out here tonight, but they won't be here for supper. But they will be here tomorrow for supper. And so will Dad. So that'll be awesome. So we'll be busy making ribs and, you know, getting prepared for that. Um, I never thought to get something for dessert, but I don't know. We'll figure something out. Whatever. Or there's those cookies. They won't all be gone. If I can help it, they won't all be gone. 
But yeah, I'm just waiting for that thing to charge a bit and I'll try it. If I'll get the box just to show you. Like it's it was all I took a picture of it because if I have to send it back if I have to send it back, send a picture. But it came like the box was even open like this. It wasn't even shut. And it's all like you know. Yeah. Yeah, flying spinner. Most tricked out flying spinner. I don't know. I just thought it would be something cool. Random. But if it works, I might consider keeping it. As long as I didn't pay a fortune for it, which I wouldn't have anyways. But if it was like 30 bucks, I'm not paying 30 bucks for a little rinky-dink thing like that. That doesn't work properly and it's all wonky. So anyways... I'm going to go enjoy my tea, and I'll check back in a little bit. Thanks again, Val. I'm going to go hang your card up right now. Oh, I drank three more cups of tea, and I did a book thing about this, The Exorcist I read this season before I put it up in the attic. Any of you guys ever read this story? Ooh, it's a good one. Here's that thing that I got. I'm going to shut it off, but look. I was chasing it all over the house. I had to show you guys. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. But I don't know how to shut it off. It's like a fan in it or something. While it doesn't know what to think. It's really cool though. <laughs> it's really neat. That was kind of fun. I think this would be a really good toy, but it doesn't shut off like it's supposed to. You're supposed to just go like that and it shuts off, or if it hits the ground, you know, crashes, it's supposed to shut off. This would not shut off. I had to let it die. Um, I guess it takes 30 minutes to charge, or 25 minutes to charge, and you can play with it for 30 minutes. Seems really cool. I think it would be hilarious. The kids would have a blast. But it comes with this little thing, and... I press the button. I don't know what it's supposed to do. There's no instructions for this thing. And the box, like I said, it came like this out of the package. So I contacted them. I'd like to return it. Maybe they'll send me another one. I'll see. But I looked up reviews online and some people like it. They all think it's fun, but it doesn't last. Um... So I don't know. I don't know. But it was only $17.89. So it wasn't as much money as I was thinking. I would chance getting another one just to see if it works. Cool idea though. I think it would be hilarious. I'd almost like want to give it to like the family kind of thing. Because I know the kids would fight over this. I was just thinking. I thought it was just going to be one of those hovering things. I think she'd get a kick out of. So I don't know. We'll see. But it's pretty neat. Just doesn't do what it's supposed to do all right well while it's there i've just been laying on the couch cuddled in a blanket because it's a little chilly and damp and dark out it is raining and the kids should be home in about 10 minutes but 
Um, my brother, let me turn you around. My brother just messaged me. He's coming out tonight, but he said he picked up some tools from my dad and some wall, like, hole filler. What the heck is it called? Anyways, he's going to fix a couple of the holes in my wall and my fridge door. I certainly did not ask him to do that at all. <laughs> I just asked him how to do it. But he's going to do it. So best brother ever. Oh my goodness. Very exciting. So wow. I just want to go wipe off my fridge door. Take the pictures off my fridge door. I haven't even started supper. But I mean I'll do that when the kids get home. Because the rice is already cooked. And those things. They do go in at 425. Those kebabs. For 16 to 18 minutes. But I remember the last time I did two packs. It took about a half hour. So, anyways, I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to go outside and wait for the kids because it is raining. But, um, yeah. Turned out to be kind of a lazy afternoon. I'm here half asleep. I was starting to read a little bit, but I was just listening to some calming music, like dozing in and out, but not quite sleeping. And, yeah. A good rainy day afternoon. Oh, the kids are home. Heard the bus while it ran out to the door. Are they home? Are they here? How was school? Good. Me and Isha are good now. Oh, well, that's good. Good. Misha had basketball after school. That's why she's not. She's not. But no school tomorrow. How was school, Bob? She, Isha, Basketball. It's just that she might want to retry. I don't know yet. Yeah, you don't need to do that right now. Try what? Okay. So how was your day, Bob? Yeah. Did you? Hmm. The question. What? Fall back in your chair. No. Come on. It's not the hard. Like seven people today did. Seven people today did? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go now. You're going to take her out for a quick pee? Well, I'm going to run around a little She had a visit with Papa today. Oh, did she get a treat? There, yeah, he gave her one. <laughs> Papa was babysitting her. I just had an appointment. It's funny, my teacher actually has an appointment on Friday. Oh. Yeah, she's going to go see her mom on Friday. Yeah, she's going to go see her mom on Friday. You getting mad? What would a word if burped and growled were one word? What? Burped and growled. Squish it together like one word. What would it be? Gwerped. Bowled. Oh, geez, I gotta get up. Ooh, it's starting to get dark around five o'clock. Um, I just took these out of the packages, easy peasy. Now that I know how to do it properly, I'm squishing them all onto one. What? Did you say something? Uh, I'm squishing them all onto one pan, and it's at four twenty-five, sixteen to eighteen minutes. But I'll put it in for a half hour, and. Then I'm just going to heat up some rice, and that'll be supper. They can have, like, some veggies or something to go along with it. But the cooking part will be done. All right, there they are. Half hour on the nose. I just dumped some of the liquid off. Like, I think last time I did it, I had it up on, like, cooling racks and baked it. But it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just heating up some rice now. All right, I was trying to make it fancy. Those are those sugar snap peas. Some batsmati rice with some soy sauce and two kebabs. This one's for Maziah. All right, friends, it's 5.45. It's dark out. Like, it feels like it's 10 o'clock at night, but... No. Oh, it seems kind of fuzzy. Is that anybody better? Uh, there's the ribs there. I'm going to put them probably in the fridge in a little bit, but I'm just waiting for Josh and 
the tash picking here. And the kids keep asking me, are they, when are they coming? I'm like, they're coming after supper. But anyways, I took the things off the door and wiped the door down. And that's about it. I finished editing yesterday's video. So that'll be up tonight. And I was just listening to Christmas music. Marquis, he got home from work, but he's just left to go get Kara. She'll come here for tonight because there's no school tomorrow. And yeah, I'm sleepy, but I'm excited. So um, yeah, they're just at Natasha's parents for supper. So they'll probably be here. I'm thinking like seven o'clock or something like that. Whatever. And then tomorrow will be fun. A great big rib feast. But I'm going to go to bed tonight. Well, whenever I can go to bed and have a good night's sleep so I can start fresh tomorrow. I'd like to get up super early so I can get the day started before the kids even get up. That's my hope. We'll see. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I want to see if that's done because I want to go start editing this video. And I can do that while I'm waiting for those guys to come home. Or come here. Whoa. It's okay. Have you used that stuff before and yeah. it works good? Oh. Yeah, it's so good. Now, for the moment of Just truth. Good job, Bob. This you can't use, but I can use. So I'll use my turn to take that one. Ooh. Then I lay that down, and who can use a six? That's right, take the six. Put it over the six spot and flip that card over. Five. Winning out, right? Five. <laughs> I can use the five, and I got a nine. Oh. So now it's your pick. You pick up a card. Look for a seven. Hopefully you, you need get a, a seven. seven. Whew. 
all right guys my brother and sister-in-law just left <clears throat> you gotta see this Ooh. look at my polka dotted walls yep lots of nicks and stuff there's some holes what he had was drywall stuff he needs the thicker speckle stuff he said that'll do the holes there's a hole there and a hole there and I didn't realize like these are plaster walls like the house is really old right there's this isn't gyp, gyp rock or anything so to make these walls behind them are those slats which I knew that because I've seen those before but yeah anyways um tomorrow he's gonna come back with some of that stuff but there's these are just little nicks that were in the paint and not great big holes but and those are clean <clears throat> there and what do you think violet there was a hole there and he put one of those patches but he's got to get some stuff to do i don't know so this is amazing freaking amazing i can't believe it oh and he also fi fixed the fridge door the door handle used to not be on one piece like it was loose at the bottom for like over a year and it's fixed amazing amazing i just put some wood in the fire i'm tired open the drafts but I'm about to shut the drafts because I don't want this to burn up I want it to last all night I still have coals tomorrow is supposed to be colder like the high of eight the low of zero and the kids will be home all day I'm gonna put those ribs in the fridge uh, they're defrosted now but I'm gonna get up early it's quarter after ten I'll get up early and start doing those ribs because I'll have to do them in two batches I just, my oven's not big enough. And we'll get those done, which will be good. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll have the broccoli and cheese, the ribs, the coleslaw, and either french fries or potatoes to go with it. And that's pretty good, I think. I think. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. It was fun. Um, we did get... A lot of stuff done. I know it was behind the scenes in the sense you guys didn't see a whole lot, but we did get a lot done. And there's no more supper left. And we had fun playing cards. Oh, that's what we were doing. Here's a picture. I think you like to. You know, when you get to this age, you can do uh, okay. make excuses because I threw my shoulder at the wall. Yeah. I you Yeah, I sure. Like okay, are we going to do this at some time? I need time? Mm -hmm. I Okay, I'm just going to go because when I start, I can't stop. Okay. okay. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I'm going to have to get uh, Sora to start practicing. Oh, you guys are. Well, I definitely know, all, like, every single number in the world. <laughs> Feel the burn. Yeah, that picture was taken by my sister-in-law, Natasha. She was sending it to, to her kids, just, you know what I mean, saying hi kind of thing. But yeah, we were playing that card game and then watching some wrestling videos. And um, yeah, it was just fun, just fun being a family. I'm dreading the day that they go back. Well, my brother goes back on Friday night, I think, or no. Saturday morning, like early morning. I don't know if it's the red eye or what, but they're leaving here. But Natasha's staying another week, so I'll still have her, which is great. 
I mean, she's not going to be here the whole time, but yeah, I just wish everybody lived closer. I really do. I really do. One week was not long enough at all for almost five years of not seeing each other. Oh, it hurts, but I appreciate the time we did have together. I really do. So anyways, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. We had a good day and I think Violet had fun at dad's and got her out for a little bit. I got some deals. Oh, I also picked up a couple of Christmas presents while we were in town, but I couldn't really show you that. Well, I did show you that little ball. I did <clears throat> hear back from them and they're not going to give me a refund. They offered to give me a 50% refund and for me to keep it because it would cost too much to send back. I'm thinking, you'll give me half of my money back for something that doesn't work how it's supposed to work and I can keep it, which is still pretty fun, I have to admit. But, you know, I don't know whether it said that when I bought it, like the return policy, but I'm just like, that doesn't sound right to me. Thank friggin' God I didn't spend a whole bunch of money on it. So if I get back like $8 and I get to keep this, I'm not going to give it to one person in specific, or I'll give it to my husband for Christmas as a gag gift or something. Violet, you're not jumping up there. But anyways, that's... That's the story with that, but um, I did pick up a couple of other presents in town while I was at the Superstore for Misha. It's easy to buy stuff for Misha and Maze because they're still young enough to enjoy some toys and things like that. It's a bit harder for Mazaya because now she wants anime merchandise, and you can't buy anime merchandise for the channels that she likes to watch unless you spend the big bucks and I don't mind getting some stuff but if I have to spend eighty dollars on a sweater you know just recognize I can't get you ten things when I'm spending more on five things for you than I'm spending on 10 things for Misha or something like that. If you're picking up what I'm laying down. So oh, I'm rambling, but yeah, picked up two more Christmas presents for Misha, um, which is good, which is good. So anyways, okay, there, I got a load of wood there ready for the morning. Um, the wood box will have to be filled up again tomorrow, but at least I got wood for the morning. So anyways, with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So all right, guys. Well, I'm going to put those ribs away and then I'm going to bed because it's going to be a good busy day tomorrow and I'm tired. So with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.